so for today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that I keep in my school bag. This video has been so requested recently and I thought it's definitely got to be in my back to school series. So I'm going to be showing you what I basically keep in my school bag. You would have already seen it in my back to school haul. If you haven't seen that already I will leave a link to it down below as that video has done it so well. It's had over 30,000 views which is honestly insane. So I thought today I'd just show you what I actually put in my bag because it always helps people out I think and I love watching these videos myself to see what am I missing from my school bag, what do I actually need, what don't I need. So yeah, obviously we've still got a few weeks before we go back to school so I'll just probably take this stuff out in the meantime and pack it probably the night before I go back. So let me know down below when you go back to school and without further ado, I'm gonna show you what's in my school bag. This is my bag, it's from H&M and it was 25 pound and it's just this really big shopper kind of tote bag. I really, really like it. Last year I got a bag from H&M and I went back again this year because it lasted me the whole year. So yeah, it just looks like this. It's just got a main section really and then like a small zippy pocket at the back and it also ties up which I really like so nothing's going to really fall out I guess. Um, there is also a long strap available if you want to put it on a long strap. I have that here but to be honest I'm probably just going to put this on my shoulder like I did with my last bag. So yeah, I'm just going to open it up and show you what in my bag is just my ipad this is my school ipad i basically just have to take this as literally we use this nearly most lessons i would say i use this probably most of the day to be honest um so yeah it just has everything on it i am going to be doing like a what's my ipad kind of like study edition during revision week which starts tomorrow for you guys it will be up on saturday i think and it's just going to be kind of like the best apps and stuff for like studying so look out for that but yeah that's just the first thing i have i have to keep it in this case because if i damage it or something then it's not covered if it's not in the case so yeah let's hope that doesn't happen the next thing i have is my pencil case this is from wh smith's and um, practically everything in here was in my back to school haul um but a few things weren't obviously so i just have my calculator because you need that for maths and science i then just have all my highlighters i then have a ton of pens and pencils and like a ruler and protracted and all that kind of stuff i do obviously keep like a couple of pens in my school blazer but these kind of like just spares really so yeah i try not to take masses in my pencil case but halfway through the year i'm ending up with like fifty thousand pens in here because they will start to run out i then just have this black folder from wilco's and right now obviously i don't know what lessons i'm gonna be having on my first day back so i've just put a couple of random books in here just to you know give it some shape but in here i'll just keep all my school books and i'll put another one in my bag if i've got to take in any textbooks or loose sheets of paper that day so yeah this is just from wilco's it's just black and again this was in my haul but i just really like using these to keep my books protected i hate when they get all scruffy and last year i used the ones with the zips but the zips kept breaking so this year i've just gone back to these and yeah i really like these just to keep books and paper and stuff i then just have a book this is animal farm this is the book we're going to be studying from september practically so yeah it's just by george orwell and then i've just got some of these small sticky notes in here as i like to use these for like annotations and like naming where themes are and stuff so i did this for jekyll and hyde and it worked really really well so yeah i've just put these in already i don't know if i'm gonna have english on the first day if i don't i'll take it out and i only put this in when i do have english because there's no point carrying it around when i'm not gonna use it so yeah this is in just a really old zippy folder but i just don't want the book to get damaged so yeah this is just going to protect it and keep everything in here nice and safe i then just have my water bottle to be honest i don't really see the point of having a really fancy water bottle i'll just change these up like once a week or something this is just from tesco's obviously i'll drink it on the monday with like the water it came in and then throughout the week i'll just fill it up so yeah i just thought i would show you that same thing my lunchbox now i'm not sure if i'm going to use this lunchbox this year or if i'm going to get a different one as i've had this for like three years now um this was just from the pound shop really and it just is a basic lunchbox i thought i would just show you because last year when i filmed this video i didn't show you my lunchbox and water bottle my bag basically looked empty so yeah this is just what i keep my lunch in i'm not a big fan of some of the food they serve at school so i prefer just to take my own lunch and then the final thing i keep in the main section are just my glasses these are from spec savers they're a bit grubby right now because i haven't really worn them they've kind of just been dust collecting uh, but they just look like this i wear these for if i'm like sat at the back of the class as i find it a lot harder from the back to see and read things but if i'm like at the front 
which seems to be the case in a lot of my lessons last year. I was always near like the front. I don't know why, that's just how the seating plan works. Then I don't really need them because I'm close enough to read it, but things like last year in English, I was right at the back and I needed. And like I said, at the back, it has like this little zippy thing which is attached to the bag. It doesn't come out, which is kind of handy actually. So I just have a few things in here. So the first thing I have is just this Ted Baker spray. I'm not sure what scent this is or anything, but I've used like half of the bottle. I just found this really helpful, especially after things like PE or when it was in the summer and it was really hot. I just really like this to freshen up really. And yeah, it smells really, really good. It's just the blue one. And then I also just have this little um, bag, which I got last year from H&M, as you would have seen last year. And it's just like this pink bag. And in here, I just keep a few things like um, a hand sanitizer. I have a lip balm, which halfway through the year ends up in my blazer pocket anyway. I just have a mirror because there are no mirrors at school. And from September, we're not allowed to use our phones. So I'm going to need a mirror just to check that I'm looking okay or if I've got something on my face. This one is just from Lottie London and it said, made you look, made you stare. And then the final thing I have in here is just some breath spray because you never know when you're going to have bad breath. Like, I'll eat something and I'll probably think, mm, my breath doesn't smell that great. So I just keep that in there, to be honest. And my phone and my locker keys I keep in my blazer pocket just so they're always on me really those are the two things i need to know i have same with like my headphones etc that's everything in my school bag as you can see it's empty it does look really really big but like i said in my haul um because it is so flexible you can like fold it to how you kind of want it so if you don't need it to be that big you can like shape it and stuff and last year i had a really structured bag and i just found that there was things that I needed to take, they just wouldn't fix with the structure. So this year I want something a bit more big and floppy. And it does have studs in the end, so it can stand up anyway. But yeah, I love H&M for bags. And this is going to last me probably the whole year. And I may even use it next year for sick form, who knows. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a mass thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for 20,000 subscribers, honestly. That is insane. A giveaway will be coming during September time, once we're all back to school and everything. Just to say a massive thank you. So if you do have any giveaway prizes, ideas, comment them down below. And if you're new here, subscribe, come join. If you haven't already, go subscribe to my vlog channel. I will be vlogging throughout the rest of the summer practically. I know it hasn't really gone according to plan, but there are going to be some vlogs on there. Don't you worry. And yes, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.